Check out the Black Witch Caterpillar, guys. Ascalafa odorata, the Black Witch. This one's in, I think, in final instar. Oh, except a big girl Black Witch. I don't see any butterflies. Just lowered a little bit. All right. Oh, look at you. You're so pretty. Okay, the witches are out. Look at that girl. Mm-hmm. Love that. Love that. All right, guys. So we put our black witch in this cardboard box yesterday. Now, we're trying to get eggs. And so what we're doing is she was very old already. It looked like she had already... Um, she had some miles on her, so I'm not 100% sure of her health. Looks like she's down there still. She's just chilling. All right, now, let's see if we can take a look. And I put a stem of this legume in here. This is, um, black bead called black bead. Oh, guys, look at that. Right there. We've got black witch egg right there, guys. Check it out. Sweet. Let's see. Is any any other ones? Usually they don't just lay one egg. Oh, there's another egg. Um, I'm checking it out right now, buddy. Well, there's not a whole lot in here. Let's see. Yeah, she didn't, she definitely didn't go crazy laying eggs. There's one. There's a spider. Ooh, gotta get that out of there. Um. Well, okay. Let's check the box itself. A lot of times they'll mods will lay right on the box itself. Yep, check it out, guys. Look. There's egg. Egg. Um. Let's see, any on the floor? Yeah, it looks like she's laying eggs on the box itself, which helps. So, let's see. Yep. Yep, so we've got eggs, guys. I don't know how many, it's not a whole lot. We probably, I'm seeing probably a dozen or so. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna feed her and keep our black witch in the cardboard box. Uh, she's doing just fine. And I'll put this, I gotta get the spider off of it and put this little piece of uh, black bead in a container and let's, we'll wait for the eggs to hatch. All right, so we have our female black. <clears throat> So we have our female black witch in a container here. And I put a, a sprig of um, horse flesh mahogany in the container. It's not necessarily their host plant, but it's a legume that I think might just stimulate a little bit of egg laying. So uh, here's what we've got, guys. We've got on the bottom, well, that's a... That's a sulfur caterpillar. I'm going to have to feed him. He came in on the cutting. But all over the container, we've got black witch eggs. And she just went to town, man. So they are spherical. And they've, they've got this cool little ring action going on. And uh, 
I have a feeling they're about to hatch. So I'm going to get them in a cup um, with paper towel. So this is actually in the lid here. Let me see if I can. dump them in so they're all in the bottom there I'm gonna go through this container there's, there's a bunch more in here so I think she laid a bunch of eggs in fact I'm gonna pull this out and see if she laid any did she lay any eggs like on the actual plant I'm not seeing I'm not seeing any eggs on the actual plant I'm just seeing them on the container, which is kind of annoying. All right, so I did not know that there was a, there must have been a sulfur egg or a baby caterpillar on this, on this limb that I put in there. So all this here is not, these are not eggs, these are, that's actually caterpillar frass. But there are eggs in the container. And what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to go in and sift them out, see if I can find them, pull them out. That's a little annoying, but we got black witch eggs, guys. Very happy. Okay, so our black witch caterpillars appear to be feeding. And I want to, I'm actually going to open up a few of these containers and we're going to see what is happening inside of these containers. Let's see if we can show you an up close and personal view of a small black witch caterpillar when it's not zipping around like crazy. Okay, actually there's one sitting right there on the lid of my cup. It looks like he's pre-molt. So it looks like he's gonna be molting into what should be second in star. They've been in this cup for about three or four days. I'm gonna put him down here, trusting that he won't zip away. Let me see if I can get in here and show you guys. There's a nice, what looks like second instar black witch caterpillar. Um, he's growing. So there, it looks like they're eating a couple different things in this cup. They're definitely eating the tamarind which is this one, they're tearing the tamarind up and we actually need to get some more cuttings of that. Uh, but it also looks like they're eating black bead, which is this plant right here. The caterpillars are all sitting on the stem of the black bead. Look at them, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, four of them sitting on the stems of the black bead here, five of them. So that's a good sign. Um, although I don't know where to get more black bead readily near my house, I can get tamarind. So if I can, if I can get them, keep them going on tamarind, we'll be able to breed them uh, hopefully all the way through. We'll see how far they go. Um, there's a lot going on here. Let me check some of these other cups and see how, ay, ay, ay. Let's see. Oh boy, let's see. All right, they're eating. So I can see the frass on the bottom. I don't know what they're eating. I'm not seeing any of the caterpillars. one there on the side of the water pick all right this doesn't look quite as happy I might have to upgrade these to a container guys all right the caterpillars definitely like to sit in the rims of the cup which is kind of unfortunate I don't know if they're molting in here or what. Let me see if I can zoom in. 
There it is, guys. Black Witch Caterpillar, probably second in star. That's what they look like. Oh, who's that? Is that a spider? Oh, that's not good. Not good when you find spiders in your caterpillar containers, guys. They can't came in on the cutting. Hey. No, no, no. All right, guys, we got a uh, container full of fresh tamarind growth. Now it's time to transfer our black witch caterpillars. Sam? Yeah, they're small. Take this brush. And swipe him off. Nice and gently. Oh my goodness. Sam. Oh yeah, they dip, dude. Oh, that's his, what the? Bro. Eventually they parachute. He's in. Okay. You want them on the plant if you can. I think he went on the plant. Okay. Now. Where is he? He's in there. Oh. Dang. I can't. Let me see it. <laughs> is he dead? Nope. You sure? I think he's dead. Huh? He's dead. He's dead? I think he's squished. Oh, really? Uh, Where is he? Try it again. He's dead. He's squished. Squished him. Well, that's not good. Okay. Well, anyway. All right, here. Let's uh, go in this cup. There's, There's got to be a few in there. Real gentle. Hold it over the top of the container because they will parachute off. Oh, that's a big one. Where at? Right there. Whole stem. Just put the whole stem on the... Yeah, yeah. Let me see. Is he on here? Mm-hmm. Oh, there's two right there, too. All right, so they're eating cat... No, this isn't cat claw. This is uh, This is uh, black bead. I don't have any more black bead. So, hopefully... Where did you find the black bead? I have it and I have some of it back there. Maybe enough for one caterpillar. We'll see what happens. Let's see if they transfer into tamarind. But we'll just rest that there. Yeah, this? Uh, no, take that one out. Take that. Take that. You put it over the top of this. Is there anything on there? I don't know. See if you see any. All right. Yeah, so just hold it. Hold it over the top of the tamarind. And he, sh he should just parachute off. There he is, right there. Bingo. Okay. I put the lid down. Now, there. Okay, there's yeah, one there's, right there. There's one inside the cup there. See if you can get him out. See if you can coax him out. All right, guys. So it's been about a week and a half. Actually, about a week since my Black Witch... Caterpillars hatched, and believe it or not, they're actually growing up very, very nicely. This guy's playing dead. Look at that bad boy right there. Sick, man. Loving it. Um, they're ranging in size here from what looks like... This guy's probably third in star to then in here... We got what looks like, you know, maybe he's third. These are crazy caterpillars, man. They got this great, let me see if I can do this. They've got like this great big flat head. It's pretty cool. It's definitely a very different, different looking caterpillar right there, guys. Um, Black Witch, tough one to get, tough one to breed for sure, um, and, but it's eating a couple different legumous plants that we have, these tropical plants that we have down here in South Florida, 
Um, we've got them on black bead and we've got them on tamarind and they seem to be chewing pretty, pretty well on both of them. So we're just gonna keep feeding them. Again, we've got one here. This guy is chilling on tamarind. Let's see. This guy's eating tamarind. All right, guys. This is how black witch caterpillars boogie. <laughs> and that's why raising them can be a little bit of a pain in the butt, especially if you're doing it in containers on cuttings. Especially if they're smaller. And if they're smaller. It's a little bit easier when they get bigger, but boy, these guys boogie, man. Like, let's go. Let's go back on your host plant, buddy. Oh, there you go. Right back to eating. Right back to eating. Well, well, my black witch caterpillars seem to be in final instar now. <laughs> um, you still got a bit of growing to do. I have had quite a bit of virus. Um, some of these guys just don't look super vigorous. They're still alive, they're still feeding. I gotta get him some more food. Um, this guy looks actually pretty healthy right there. That's what they're supposed to look like. Yeah. They got that black head capsule. Some squiggly lines down that black body. Pretty creepy larva, isn't it? <laughs> 